Okay, I'm going to show you how to inset a ribbon. Uh, this particular job, they want a ribbon that will tie the book shut once it's done. So, what I'll do is I'm going to take the book out of the case and set it aside. And then I'm going to turn the case over. I have made myself a little gauge uh, with a stop on it, like this, so that it will fit right on the board and I have marked it in the center here uh, with the exact center and then these are the outside edges of where the ribbon will fall like that. Now uh, I also have a chisel like this is just a, an ordinary wooden chisel I've given it a little bit uh, more sharpening with a little uh, like a diamond sharpening stone for knives and you need a hammer and I have this like little, uh, probably an eight ounce, ha it says eight ounce hammer on this. Now, uh, the width of the gauge is important because that's going to determine the distance from the fore edge to where the ribbon actually insets in the board. So what I've also done is taken little pieces of masking tape and put them on the edges here to keep the, uh, to keep the, the gauge from sliding once I start to uh, tap it with the, tap the chisel with the hammer. So I'll put this in place on the board using the little stop here. And then I bring this right up to the edge on this side of the fore edge. And then I'll just put the tape down to hold this down straight. Now I have a board here to protect my, my table. This is just a piece of like little scrap uh, plywood. And I will put that underneath the, the board. Take the chisel and with the, the uh, tapered side uh, go, have that aimed toward, toward the spine. Put the flat side of the chisel right against the board here and then at first lightly tap it just to set the blade so that it goes through the fabric like that. And then you can hit further harder and you'll feel the blade coming through the bottom through the bottom of the board like that. And you see how it has rucked up, you know, just a little bit of space there. Now we'll pull this out, remove the gauge, and we have a perfect hole through which to put the ribbon. It's not quite wide enough, so I need to take my folder like this and stick the point just in the center enough to open that up to get the ribbon through. All of my ribbons have been cut to a length of 14 inches. So I'll put this through, pull it, and then we'll turn the board over. And I only want to leave about an inch out, you know, not even an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. Then take your folder and push the board back down against it. Push the board on both sides, like that. And then with your hammer, and this has a round face on it. See, it has a round face like that so there won't be any, any sharp edges. Just hammer this down to set the ribbon. And now it's in here very strong. You can even pick up the case with this without even having to glue it down. But I'm gonna put a little glue underneath the ribbon to hold it down so that when I case the book in, this thing doesn't stick out from underneath the end of the end of the end paper. Now when we turn this over to be the other side, I just want to check in case the uh, marks are not exactly in the center when I put this in, so that I have this in exactly the same place. So I'll check it at, at both ends, and I see that I'm off just a little bit here, so I have to use it on this side to make it match. So I'll Put this in place here, keeping the stop on the same side that I had it, you know, it, on the head, it was on the head on the back, so it'll be on the head on the front, and then I'll just tape this down with a little piece of tacking tape here. so that when I go to put the uh, chisel down, this won't move. There. Okay. Again, 
Center your chisel on your marks. Give it light taps to start to make sure that it goes through the, the top and then it won't shift. And you can feel the blade underneath. I'll remove my gauge, remove the chisel, take the folder, and open this up just a little bit. On thinner boards you may just even open it up a lot. Then we'll drop the ribbon through. Pull this back to like three quarters of an inch. Flatten the board with your folder, you know, gently first, and then we'll tap it with the hammer to set it in permanently. And a little tip of glue to hold it down. And there we go. The book can be tied shut now.